Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send ATG receipts on WhatsApp for NGO donations received via cash free. So I am running an NGO with the name as Humanity Across Borders and my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a donation with the help of cash free payments, then immediately an ATG certificate should be created for the donor and it should be sent to the donor over WhatsApp. So for sending WhatsApp messages, here I am going to use AI Sensei with the help of which I am going to send a template message on WhatsApp along with the ATG certificate. So how I am going to automate this entire process? For that I am going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software with the help of which I am going to simply set up connections between all these applications without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. In this video, I am going to show you step by step that how we can set up a connection between Cash Free, Google Docs and WhatsApp in such a way that whenever a donation will be received for our NGO through Cash Free, then immediately an ATG certificate will be created for the donor with the help of the template which we have created over Google Docs and a WhatsApp message will be sent to the donor along with this ATG certificate and the thank you message. So we are going to automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect by setting up connections between all these applications that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, you just have to click on this sign in option to log into your account quickly. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now because I am already an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in option. So this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now and it will take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, you can find all of our workflows which we have created and we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly and systematically. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option as we've done that. We can see that a dialog box is appeared in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to provide a name over here. And here we can see that a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Automatically generate ATG receipts via cash free and share on WhatsApp. After giving this name, here I'm going to select the folder in which I'm going to save my workflow. You can see I have multiple folders over here. Among these, I'm going to select NGO donation receipts folder because I've created a separate folder for all the donation related transactions. Okay, now I'm going to click on create. Now, as we have done that, you can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards the word trigger. So, whatever we are going to select in the word trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as as we want. For example, here I want that as soon as I am going to receive the donation on cash free for my NGO, then immediately ATG certificate should be created for the donor with the help of Google Docs. So let's suppose I am going to take cash free in my trigger and Google Docs in my action. And here we can clearly see that when we are going to set up the connection, action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is received via cash free, then only the details will be used in order to create the ATG certificate on Google Docs, otherwise not. So after this the concept of trigger and action, let us start setting up the connection between our applications to create our automation successfully. For that, we have to first of all select our trigger application because trigger is going to start the workflow. So here our trigger application will be cash free. So let's select that. After selecting the application, we also have to select the trigger event. You can see we have multiple events over here. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. So on the happening of whichever specific event we want to capture the response that will be selected as our trigger event over here. We have multiple options over here. So I want that whenever the payment will be received by a form, then immediately the response should be captured with all the details. Now, as we have selected our trigger event, we have received a webbook URL along with some instructions. We just have to follow these instructions step by step to set up our connection and the URL is going to act as a bridge because it is going to transfer the data whenever the form will be submitted and the payment will be received in cash free towards Pabli Connect. So let's simply copy this URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do in order to set up the connection. So first of all, we have to go towards our cash free account. 
After coming over here, when we'll scroll down, here is the option of developers. Under developers, here we have multiple options. Among these options, we have to select webhook option because we are setting up the connection with the help of webhook. After coming over here, we just have to click on add webhook endpoint button to add the webhook. And here, first of all, in the endpoint URL field, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Then we have to select the event that will be this particular date okay now we have to click on test in order to send a test response for the connection towards Pabli connect as we have done that let's check whether we have received the test response over here in Pabli connect or not and yes a test response is received with the test value and the time this means that our connection is absolutely successful now we are going to click on recapture webhook response button once again, we'll go back towards cache free and here we are going to click on next. Now it is asking us the specific event on the happening of which we want to receive this response. We have multiple events over here, but we want that whenever the payment will be received. So here we have to select success payment. Then the response should be captured, otherwise not. So let's click on add webhook and here our webhook is set up successfully. Okay, so we'll go back towards public connect. Now, as we have set up the connection successfully, when we are going to do a test submission by submitting the form, by making the payment through the form, then immediately the response will be captured inside public connect. So I'm going to go back towards cash free account. And because we are making the payment with the help of forms, so we have to go towards the form section payment forms. And I have already created a form, so I'm going to go towards all section. And if you want to create a new form for the NGO donation right now, you have to click on this create payment form option. And according to your choice, according to the customized way, you can create your form. Okay. Now, this is my form, which I've already created. You can see this is the link of my form. Here is the form ID and this is the name of my form. So I will simply copy the link. I'm going to open it in a new tab and you can see that the form is open in front of us. This is the form for collecting the donation specifically for my NGO Humanity Across Borders. When the donor is going to open this form, he will be able to enter the donation amount by himself, whatever amount he want to fill out their details and they can pay. OK, so here I'm doing a test submission because I'm currently working in the test mode. You can see so I will just make the test payment along with some dummy details let's say i'm going to make the payment of rupees 1000 okay and here the name of the donor who is making this payment is let's say test donor and let's say that phone number of this donor is and here i'm going to enter an email address as well that will be random test 56 at the rate publitudes.com after entering all the details i will simply click on pay securely 1000 and as i told you that i'm using the test account right now so i'm going to make a test payment only okay we have the card details, test card transaction. So I will simply enter the card number and all the details are automatically added over here. The dummy details, I'm going to click on proceed to pay. And here I'm going to enter the OTP. And here the payment is absolutely successful. So these, so this is the receipt of the payment. As soon as the payment is successful, let's go back towards Pabli Connect to check whether we have received the response. And yes, immediately the response is captured over here. We can see that the type of the response is payment success webhook. We have received this response through webhook. This is the event time that on which date and time the event is occurred. Here's the source. Here's the gateway name. Here you can see that the payment time is also given the success. The status of the payment is success. The mode of the payment is debit card. Here is the card number and all of the card details. This is the amount which is being received. And here we have the details of the donor, phone number, name, as well as the email address. Now, once we have received this response, this means that our connection between Cash Free and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. So next time, whenever we are going to receive the donation on Cash Free account with the help of this form, then immediately the response will be captured over here automatically. Here, when you will scroll down, here we have also received the form ID. Now this form ID is very useful in order to set the filter condition in our workflow. Now, now as we are using cash free, that is payment gateway. So we are going to receive multiple of the payments for different purposes through cash free. So we do not want to run this workflow for each and every payment which we are receiving every day. But we only want to run the workflow specifically for the donations. That means we have already created a form, specific form for the donation in cash free. And we want that whenever we are going to receive the payment through that specific form, which will have the same form ID, then only we want to run the workflow further and we want to continue the workflow to create the ATG certificate. Otherwise, we do not want. So what we have to do, we have to apply the filter condition for that. So let's select our action application that will, that will be filter. Filter is an amazing feature which helps us to set conditions in the workflow according to our requirements. Here our action event will be filter values. Let's click on connect. And here we have to enter the condition in such a way that we have to enter the label, the filter type as well as the value. So I'm going to use the label from my previous 
this response that is the form id which we have already received so this is the form id i have mapped that and when i have mapped this id it has become dynamic so when we map a data by using our previous response it is going to replace automatically with every new response so now whenever we are going to receive a new cash free payment through the form then immediately this label is going to replace and if the form id will not be equal to the id which we are going to enter in the value then the then the workflow is going to stop over here now here my filter type will be equal to and i will simply copy and paste the form id which we have received so this is the form id we'll go back and paste it in the value so you can see i am entering this value with the help of copy and pasting method that means it has become static now so whatever data we map from our previous response are changeable that means they are going to replace automatically but the data which we enter manually becomes static and it will and it will be same each time all right so here our condition is ready now whenever the condition will not be fulfilled then the workflow is going to stop over here only and it will not be continue further now i'm going to click on save and send test request button to check whether the condition is true or not and yes here our condition is absolutely true now when the condition is true our objective is to use the response which we have received in order to generate atg certificate so here i have already created a template with the help of google docs for generating the certificates you can see it contains all the details related to my ngo here is the address my email address and all of the details okay now but you can see some of the details are given under two curly braces so the details which are going to be replaced according to each of the response according to each new donor are given under two braces why i have done that because i want to change these details automatically we, we are setting up an automation so we do not want to do anything manually once we will set up the automation so we want that automatically the according to the details of each and every new donors these details such as name email code and the dates should be replaced along with the amount okay so therefore i have used variables over here so when we enter the data into curly braces inside google docs it become variable so when we are going to enter the value once when we will map the data once in these variables inside our workflow every time according to the new response the details will be changed so now we are going to use this template in order to generate atg certificates so we have to set up the connection between google docs and pabli connect let's click on this add action step button for that and here our action application will be google docs let's simply select that now we have to select the action event that will be create document from template as we have already created a template through which we have to generate the documents let's click on connect i have already built a connection with my google docs earlier so i'm going to go with the existing connection only currently but if you want to create a new connection you have to click on this add new connection button and then you have to click on sign in with google okay i'm going to click on save currently and here our connection is successful now quickly i'm going to select the template document name the document which we have to use as a template so the template name is atg certificate template i have selected that in the same manner you have to select the name of your document which you want to use as a template from the drop down now we have to provide the name of the new document that what should be the name each time of your documents we are going to create multiple such documents for each and every new donor so the name should be changeable okay so i'm going to give the name as atg certificate for and i will simply map the name of the donor over here so we have received all the details of the donor in our earlier response i will simply map the name as here you can see that i have mapped the name so it is going to change automatically whenever a new response will be captured and the data which i have entered manually will be seen in this way we are going to create different names for each of the document now here we have to provide the location where we want to save all these documents which we are creating so i have selected that now we have to enter the date of the document okay we have to enter the date here the date is given you can see that all these details are the same which we have in our document as variables which are given in the two curly braces inside our document so when we are going to map the details over here one by one everything will be systematically added in the document which will be created so let's quickly map the date of the document creation here we have to enter the date on which the payment is received we have received the date in the complicated format so we have to change this date into the simple format and i only want the date and not the time so what i will do i will change this format of the date by clicking on this add action step button in between and here our action application will be date time formatter with the help of which we are going to format our date and the time so here we have to select the action event here i'm going to select format date only because i only want the date to be added in the document and not the time now i'm going to select the date which we want to format so the date is the date of the payment date payment and the payment time so i have mapped this date in the same manner you have to map the date carefully and now we have to select the from format that in which format we have received this date so we have received the date in the format year month date and the time so here it is along with a t so we have selected the time and now we have to select the two format that is in which format we actually require the date so i want a simple format that is date month and year 
Okay, now I'm going to click on save and send test request button and here you can see that we have received the date in the correct and the exact format which we required. So I will simply map this date over here. Now the next is the donor name. Let's quickly map the name of the donor which we have received. Here we have the donor email address, donor code. So here donor code will be the order ID which I have received in the response because it is going to be unique for each and everyone. So I have selected order ID of the payment in the donor code. So now we have to select the amount which we have received and here is the amount 1000. Receipt number will be again the order ID because it is also going to replace with each and every new donation and here we have the receipt date that means on which date we are creating this receipt so i will use the same date on which i have received the payment because we are creating this receipt instantly the mode of payment is debit card here we have to enter the reference number so i'm going to enter a combination over here that is cash slash and i will use order id over here so here i have created the reference number along with a combination of cash slash and this is the order id so this is the reference number which is also going to be changed each time now you can create the reference number according to your choice you can give and assign the number with a combination or whatever details you want to give over there now i'm going to click on save and send test request button as we have done that here we have received the response along with this we have also received the document id this means our document is ready so let's go and check on google docs whether the document with the name as atg certificate for test donor is created or not this is the document and yes here we have the same name and you can see that all the details of this donor are added over here this is the name here is the email address this is the order this is the donor id here we have the date which we have formatted and all of the details so you can see that this is the mode of payment this is the date here is the receipt and the reference number along with the amount okay so this means that our connection is absolutely successful up till now so whenever we are going to receive a new donation through cash free immediately a donation certificate will be created for that donor over google docs with the help of the template now our objective is to send this certificate on whatsapp to the same donor along with a thank you message and for doing that i am going to use ai sensi but before sending the message we need to get the pdf link of this particular document because we want to send the message along with a pdf okay how we are going to get that every time automatically with the help of google drive so when we are going to set up a connection between google drive and Fably connect and we will share this file with anyone over there then immediately every time the document will be created a pdf link will also be received of that same document so let's click on this add action step button and now this time i'm going to set up a connection between google drive and Fably connect so here i'm going to select google drive as my action application now we have to select the action event that will be share a file with anyone now i'm going to click on connect and i will go with the existing connection only currently because i've already built a connection with my google drive account now what i want i want to add the file id over here okay so first of all we have to simply map the file id because it should be changed each time so what we will do we will turn this mapping button on here i'm going to delete the existing id and i will simply map the id which we have received from google docs let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response and the permission of this document is granted to be shared with anyone with the link in the in the response we can see that we have received multiple links along with the along with these links we have also received the pdf link okay so we are going to use this pdf link in order to send the message okay now for sending the message what we have to do we have to create a template message to be sent i have already done that with the help of ai snc so i'm going to set up the connection between ai snc and Pabli connect let's click on this add action step button and now we have to select our action application as AI Sensi. So WhatsApp by AI Sensi is our action application. We have selected that. Now we have to select the action event that will be send template message. Let's click on connect. Now we have to set up the connection. So I'm going to go with add new connection. Now to build the connection, we have to provide the API key. How we're going to get that? For that, the instructions are given over here. We just have to create our AI Sensi account. We have to go towards API section over there. And then we have to generate the API key. So I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So this is my AI Sensi account. From the left side here, we have the option of manage. After coming on manage section, here is the option of API key. And this is our API key. So let's copy that. We'll move back and quickly paste it over here done let's click on save in the same manner you need to get your api key and with this your connection will be successful 
okay so as our connection is made now we have to move forward to, uh, towards entering all these details so first of all we have to enter the campaign name so in order to send a message to all your donors automatically you have to create a template and then you need to associate that same template with the campaign you have to create a campaign after that and launch it so how we're going to get the campaign name i'm going to tell you that so this is my asnc account after coming on the manage section from the top you can see the option of template message after coming over here you will go towards all section and these are all the templates which i have created for different purposes this is my template which I have created for sending the WhatsApp message to all my donors along with the ATG certificate. So this is a preview of my message. Type is file because I want to attach a file over there. Hi, name, thank you for your generous donation of amount to humanity across borders. Attached is your ATG certificate for the donation. We greatly appreciate your support in our mission. Best regards, humanity across border team. So this is the message. If you want to create a new template, you have to click on this new button. You have to select the category, whether your category of the template is marketing, utility or authentication. You also have to select the name of your template then you have to provide the type of the template which you are selecting that is if you are selecting media type file type like a document type i have selected or a text message template then you have to enter the body of this message which will be preview over here so whatever you are going to enter it will be shown over here you can visible you can see your message what is going to be typed and you can also add variables in your template as much as you want in order to make it customized so because we are using the same template to send all the donors therefore we are going to use variables inside our template so the details which are going to be changed could get changed automatically so when we will create the template you have to keep in mind to add the variables variables how you have to enter that it is given over here just type your message wherever you want to place the variable you have to enter like this two curly braces one then you have to enter the second variable two curly braces two okay like that then if you want to add the call to action buttons and template footer you can also add that once you will complete your template you have to submit it and when it will be approved then you will be able to associate with the campaign which you are going to create and use it in order, and use it in order to send the messages so once your template is approved now you have to create the campaign for that so you'll go towards the campaign section and here you have to click on this launch campaign button you have to go towards api campaign you have to select your campaign name then you have to provide the template which you want to associate with that and then you have to simply click on set live when your campaign will set live you will be able to add that over inside Pabli connect so i will simply copy the name of my campaign which i have already created and associated with my template you can see over here now i'll go back and paste it over here so this is my campaign name now the next is the phone number on which we want to send this message so we will simply map the phone number which we have received of the donor the next is a username that means the person to whom we are sending this message so this is the name of the user now we have to enter the source tags all these fields are not mandatory so you can ignore them if you want the next and the important field is the template parameter here you have to enter the values which you are using in the variables so here i have used two variables in my template first is for name and the other is for amount okay so these details are going to be changed automatically so i will simply map the name of the donor first of all then i will use a comma a space and then i will map the amount done here we have to simply enter the URL that means the PDF link which we have to attach in the message. So we have already received the PDF link of the document from Google Drive. We have mapped that. Now we have to enter the file name which is also received. So this is the file name done. Everything is perfect. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. The status of this response is true and this is the message ID. That means the message is automatically sent on WhatsApp. So let's go and check. And yes, here we can see that we have received the message. So when the message is going to be opened and when the donor is going to download the certificate which is attached, a PDF document will be opened. Okay, this means that our connection is absolutely successful. So now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to go towards cash free. I'm going to make another payment over there. So I will simply copy the link of this form. I will open it in a new tab and I'm going to quickly enter the details in order to submit the payment as a donation this time all new details let's say this time the amount is 3000 the name of the donor is new donor let's say the phone number is and the email id new donor is the name new at the rate is the email id so i'm going to click on pay now and with the help of test card details i'm going to simply make the payment and here the payment is successful so as soon as the payment is received through cash free as a donation let's go and check whether automatically the document is created inside google docs or not 
and yes here we can see that the document is ready automatically this is the name of the donor here's the email address this is the same amount that we have made the payment for and and here the document is received and we will go and check whether we have received a message also for this document and yes we have received the message as well so this means that our connection is absolutely successful and our workflow is also perfectly ready so let's quickly summarize what we have done over here in the workflow we have simply set up a connection between cash free google docs google drive and whatsapp by aisnc in such a way that whenever we are going to receive the donation with the help of the form which we have created for ngo then immediately for the donor an etg certificate will be created inside google docs and a pdf document of that etg certificate will be received and it will be sent as a whatsapp message along with a thank you message to the donor okay so here in the same manner you can also create this automation very easily by following the same steps i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com at if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations